Hi guys, welcome you all to my YouTube channel Software Testing by MKT. As a part of this video, I am going to talk about difference between smoke and sanitary testing. Many people on my channel requested me to make a video on this topic. So this is finally I am making for you guys. Make sure that you utilize this video by watching it till end. Many people have this doubt. What exactly is the difference between smoke and sanity? And whichever video you see on YouTube, there is a mess around this topic. So I'm going to explain this topic in such a way that I'm giving you a guarantee that once you see this video full, you guys will be clear about smoke and sanity. It's a promise. So let's get started. So talking about smoke testing, smoke testing is to done on each and every part of an application at a high level or in a casual way, you are testing the whole application at a very high level. You are not going deep into the application, you are just testing at a high level, you are testing each and every part of an application and you are checking whether it is working perfectly fine or not. That is called as smoke testing and just because we are not going depth into the application and we are testing the application at a high level, smoke testing is called as shallow and wide testing. And talking about your sanitary testing, sanitary testing is your narrow regression testing that focuses on few areas of functionality one or few areas of functionality and uh, just because it's a narrow regression testing it is also called as narrow and deep testing so this is one of the main difference between your smoke and sanity your smoke testing is done to make sure that the basic and the critical feature of an application is working perfectly fine or not and we do sanitary testing to make sure that the new functionalities in the application or bug fixes are working perfectly fine or not. Your smoke testing is generally like a general health checkup of the product or your smoke testing is generally the health checkup of the build before going deep into that. That is called as smoke testing. On the other hand, your sanity testing is the subset of your regression testing. Example. Consider this whole white sheet is your regression testing. So we will see that your sanity testing may be only this much. So I hope this is very clear to you guys. What is the meaning of subset? So we say that your sanity testing is a subset of regression testing. The meaning is if your full white board is your regression testing, we will consider sanity testing only this much or maybe a small portion of this white board. So that's the reason we say that your sanity testing is a subset of regression testing. Your smoke testing is usually automated. Your smoke test cases are usually automated. Your sanity testing usually not automated. And we usually do documentation for your smoke testing. And it is not necessary to do always documentation for your sanity testing. Your smoke testing is always a positive testing. Your sanity testing is it is a combination of both positive testing and negative testing your smoke testing is usually performed by both developer and testers now question arises why and how see guys before giving the build to the testers to test it developer will do smoke testing to verify that whatever he has done because of that is the basic functionality of an application are working perfectly fine or not so he will do smoke testing and, and he will give it to the tester to test it now when tester will start testing the application he will do smoke testing first to make sure that just because dev has done some changes because of his changes is my functionality or basic feature of an application are working perfectly fine or not so that is the reason smoke testing is done by both developer and tester on the other hand your sanity testing is usually performed only by testers as i have said in the previous part of the video because Sanity testing is usually narrow and deep testing and it is the job of only testers to go deep into the application and test it. It is not a job of developer to go deep into the application and test it. He can do that but it is usually done by testers. See guys, whenever any company start making software for the very first time, that time it takes developer almost 30 to 40 builds to give to the testers and to make the software stable so until and unless your your software is actually stable we do smoke testing to make sure that basic features are working perfectly fine or not so at the starting level that means whenever any company is developing any software for the let's say for 20 or 30 builds or 
maybe a 10 builds or 8 to 10 builds since they are do developing it the very first time their software will not be so stable so that is that is the reason why they will do small testing to make sure that build is acceptable or not and to make sure that basic features are working perfectly fine or not so when build is not stable we do smoke testing once after once after 40 builds or 50 builds or let's say 30 builds when your build is actually stable you focus on sanity testing you more focus on the new implementation new functionality and the bug fixes similarly your smoke testing is like a general health checkup it is like it is like checking the health of a software without going deeper it is like a general health checkup on an other hand your sanity testing is like specialized health checkup in which here you won't consider more about your general health checkup but you will more focuses on a or a particular specialized health checkup I hope whatever I'm saying is totally understandable by you guys. When I say general health checkup, I mean that you take an example of your body. If you go for any general health checkup, they will check your weight, they will check your height, they will check your blood pressure, and they will check whether how much body temperature you have. And that is what small testing do. It will just check the application at a very high level whether the basic or critical features are working perfectly fine or not. On another hand, we will talk about sanity testing. It is like a specialized health checker in which they won't test the application at a very high level. How they will, they will they will go deeper into the application and test it for maybe one or two functionality or feature. Let's say they, if you're talking about my like if I go to a doctor, your sanity testing means they will go to a particular organ and they will test it in very detail. Let's say they will go to my heartbeat and they will test those organs in very detail. So guys, I hope the differences I have said is totally understandable by you guys. If yes, please give a big thumbs up to this video. Subscribe to my channel Software Testing by MGD and please share this video with your needy friends. Have any doubt? List out all your doubts in the comment section. Want to reach to me out? I have already added my Quora account, Twitter account, Gmail account my instagram account my telegram account in the link description please check it out have any doubt put out your doubt in the comment section thank you guys